uh, the first thing I'd like to chat about a little bit uh, on the next slide is a uh, powerful learning begins with a question spawned from curiosity and wonder. Mm. The interesting thing about learning is it is the exact same for toddlers as it is for adults and anywhere and everywhere in between. Huh. So if you think about the toddler, the two-year-old, right, where they ask mm -hmm. why every five seconds. Right. Yes. <laughs> they're, they're naturally curious and they're, they're craving information. Mm -hmm. And so they learn at incredible rates right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Their knowledge yes. compounds and it doubles, it seems, every minute of the day. Mm -hmm. Right. But we as adults are the exact same way. that We actually don't learn until we recognize something that piques our curiosity and we wonder, uh. no way. Or we might wonder, how is that possible? Right? Mm -hmm. Think of the last time that you uh, Googled something. Uh, and you looked up and you read a blog article or uh, that you decided to read a book or you decided on mm -hmm. a documentary. The reason that we decided to do one of those actions is because our curiosity was piqued and we wanted to know something. Right. We as adults almost never uh, learn things uh, because we have to. Sometimes mm -hmm. for work we do, right? right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, but outside of that sphere, uh, we only learn things because we want to. Mm -hmm. uh, and that really is the core of learning is once right. you're curious about it and you crave an answer, mm -hmm. that's what's going to send you on a journey to learn. I love children that. are the same yeah. way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we expect children to learn uh, not out of curiosity. Uh, a different way to say this is we, we a lot... <laughs> have the mindset of kids will learn this because they have to, because it's for their well-being, it's for their good. Yeah, but they uh, don't recognize that. <laughs> right. A four-year-old or a five-year-old and even up to a 15-year-old, they have no awareness that learning multiplication is good for them mm -hmm. in the long run. Mm -hmm. right. right. And so learning yeah. because they have to uh, doesn't equate with them the same way that it doesn't equate with us as adults, right? We don't mm -hmm. like learning because we have to. Right. Uh, they want to learn because it's enjoyable. And so the mm -hmm. best way for us mm -hmm. to do that as parents and as educators is to create activities and prompts that pique their curiosity. Mm -hmm. uh, and so one it's example upsetting. that I like to give with this <laughs> is we, uh, one of the activities that I like to give to uh, participants in some of our programs is we send them out to do an activity called Bigger or Better. Mm, and mm -hmm. essentially, if you haven't heard of that activity, you start with something small. Think of a paperclip or a rock. And their task is to go out and make trades with neighbors mm -hmm. uh, for something bigger or better at every home. And right. by the end of the activity, they'll come back with something much larger, larger and much greater in value. Right. Uh, just to give you a reference, I've had teenagers come back after one week returning with something that was valued at $10,000. Wow. It's amazing. And it's mm -hmm. wonderful. Here's what I've learned is there's two ways to do this. One is, and you can feel the difference as I give these examples. The first would be to say, Hey, here's this activity. You're going to go and trade things uh, to get more than this rock. Good luck. Mm. Or there's a way that we can set the stage that really piques their curiosity. Mm -hmm. That way would look something like this. Uh, this week, I'm going to send you off on a challenge. That challenge is to turn this rock into something far greater and far better. Teens in your same situation at your very same age have come back just five days later with items that are valued at $10,000. Can I tell you how they did it? All of a sudden, right, as a participant, your curiosity is going crazy. Right, exactly. Yep. And so peaking curiosity is the first step always. Mm -hmm. That How can we provide a prompt or a narrative that right. helps peak the curiosity and, and earns the interest of our mm -hmm. kids and our teens? Mm -hmm.